Three years ago, I was lucky that I got to stand on stage next to one of my heroes. Fergus Ancorn was a fellow soldier and magician. And despite being a prisoner of war in World War II, he always remained one of the most positive and inspirational people that you could ever meet. Unfortunately, he passed away last year, aged 99, but he taught me some valuable life lessons. He taught me it's not how much time that we have here in life that matters, but instead, it's how we choose to spend that time. That's what really counts. He taught me to live in the moment and create lasting memories every single day. Now, one way we keep track of our happy memories are through photographs. And Simon, I have up here my social media page, which has got photos of happy memories from over the last few years of my life. What I'd like you to do, Simon, as I scroll through the images, I would just like you to tell me when to stop scrolling, please. Now. OK, we're going to leave that to settle on a memory. David, since being on the show, I've been very, very, very lucky. I've performed all around the world. I've been very lucky. Some of the places I've been to are here. We've got Germany, Italy, America, Afghanistan, Austria. What I'd like you to do, David, is choose a string and pull one of the tags all the way out for us. Please tell us where you've chosen. Toronto, Canada. Toronto, Canada. If I take that back, Toronto, Canada, that is one of my favorite places. Now watch closely. Alicia. Did you get out of me? <laughs> this here, Alicia, is my lucky pocket watch. You see this pocket watch, Alicia, you'll see as you spin this dial here at the top of the watch, you will see the time changes. All I'd like you to do, Alicia, is to carry on spinning that dial until I ask you to stop, please. Thank you. David, a moment ago, you chose Toronto, Canada from the selection. Simon, you've stopped scrolling on an image. Uh, it's a photo of me and a puppy. Amanda, can you just tell us, where am I tagged in this photograph? At the top. You are in, oh wow, you're in Toronto, Canada. Toronto, Canada, the same place. Now that may be a coincidence, but watch closely. There is something hidden in the background of this photograph. What? You see, hidden in the background of this photograph, we have a clock. Amanda, can you tell us what time is on that clock? It says two o'clock. Two o'clock. Alicia, if I take that back from you. Alicia, can you please tell us what time have you created on the watch? Ten to two. Ten, ten minutes to two? Yes. Okay, you're ten minutes early. Sorry. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay, because I didn't tell you why this is my lucky watch. You see, this watch was a gift given to me by my friend Fergus before he passed away. And he's going to be the hero of tonight's story because engraved on the back is one of his favourite mottos. Alicia, can you please read that out for us? A good soldier is always ten minutes early. Oh. <laughs> and a pleasure to be back. I'm going to sing you a song that was, is dedicated actually to my late wife. Um, Colin, I think it's extraordinary you've come here. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. to me. 
make me shine. You always walked a step behind. I thought I could lean on 